Hi, I'm Linda from Barlardi's Body Blitz. Welcome to Slide and Loop. For today's workout, all you will need is some sliders and I'm going to be using a resistance loop. Mine is a heavy loop and the reason I'm using heavy is because I don't want it to curl up, but if you don't mind it curling up, you can use a lighter one. If you don't have a loop, you can use a Pilates band and tie it into a loop approximately this size. We're going to be putting it mainly just above the knees, but you need to make sure that you've got enough resistance. We're going to get started without the loop and what we're going to be doing is various combinations using first of all the loop and the sliders, then just the loop and then just the sliders. But to start off with, because we are just warming up, I'm going to do it in a reverse order. So we're going to start off with just the sliders, then we're going to do just the loop and then we're adding them both together. Okay, so it's kind of like a total body, bit of cardio, bit of everything, super fun workout, super quick workout, so let's get going. We're starting off with jumping jacks and we're just going to use the sliders. So the key to using these sliders safely is to always have your heel coming off the back, okay? So come down into a lightly squat position where your back is slightly forward and you've got a really nice flat back and you wanna keep it flat throughout the entire routine. Tummy's drawn in, shoulders are down and back and just start doing jumping jacks. So I want you to feel how wide you can go so that you can do these jacks safely without doing the splits. And every time you come out, I'm turning my knees out and I'm actually coming it down a little bit as if I'm squatting a little tiny bit. Using my arms, nice and dynamic. So what we're going to do is layer this with a plank jack. So we're going to do a few of these and then move down into a plank and do our legs out and in. So go for four, three, two, one. So come down and now come out and in, out and in with your legs. So if this is too hard, you can come up here and stick your butt up in the air. But if you can, just stay out here. We're only doing a few and then we're gonna get up and we're gonna start a little pyramid. Four, three, two, one. So come up, we're gonna start with one of each, two, three, four, five, and work our way back down to one, okay? So just one jack, one jack, come down, out in, come up. Now two, one, two, come down, one, two. Come up for three, two, one, come down, three, two, one. Now four, three, two, one, come down, four, three, two, one. No messing around. Five, four, three, two, one, come down. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect plank there for four, three, two, one. Sink low in those jacks. Four, three, two, one. Make sure your tummy's pulled in. Three, two, one. Come down. Three, two, one. And up. Two and one. Down. Two and one. Up for one. Down for one. Come in. Okay. So that was dynamic. We're doing the same thing with the loop. So put your loop on just above the knees and make sure it's nice and flat. And we're going to try and keep tension on this loop the entire time, okay? So don't come in so far that it ends up slipping. Keep tension, start from a hip distance position and just do some jacks. So once again, just getting used to the feeling of the loop. I'm still turning my knees out slightly. And as I come out, I'm sinking down a little bit into my heels. A few of these, then we're gonna go down and do those plank jacks, get familiar with those, and then do our pyramid. So, are you breathing yet? Dynamic motion. Let's go for six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Coming down, same thing, out and in. So you gauge how wide you can jump. Keep a light bend in your knees. Tummy's in and remember this is your option. You can just go out and in or if you really can't do this, then do more regular jacks. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're doing the pyramid starting with one of each. So if you can't do those on the ground, either stick your butt up or even put your hands up on a chair. Just find a way of doing it, starting with one. One up, one down. For two, come down for two. And up for three, two, three, nice and wide. One, two, three, in for four. One, two, three, four, come down. One, two, three, four, in for five. One, two, three, four, five, come down. Spread your legs wide. Three, four, five, come up for four. Four, three, two, and one. Come down. Four, three, two, and one. Come up for three. Three, two, one, and down. Three, two, one, and up. Two, and one. Down for two, and one. Up for one, and down for one. Okay, are you ready for the challenge? Get your sliders and we're going to put just the ball of our feet on there. Same thing, starting off in that nice position, tummy in, back is flat and just start doing those jacks. So some people might think this is actually a bit easier than just the loop because now it's helping you to slide. But if you press the ball of your foot into that gliding disc, you should feel your inner thighs engaging. So, more muscle groups. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, just do a few blanks with those jacks, out and in. So the more you bend your knees, the easier it'll be. And you can even come up here or with yoga blocks. So, try and find a way of doing it. Out and in. Push your feet into that glider. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come in. Okay, one of each. Are you ready? Are you breathing? You can hold on to hand weights if it's not enough for you. Ready for one. One and down. One and in. One and two. And down. One and two. In. One, two, three. Down. One, two, three, in, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, in, one, two, three, four, five, down, one, two, three, four, five, in, for four, three, two, one, sink deep, four, three, two, one, legs wide, Three, two, one, down, three, two, one, in, two and one, down, two and one, in, one, down, one, in. Okay, so heart rate is high, gonna slow it down a little bit. Make sure your loop is nice and flat. Get your positioning right. Come into a more narrow stance now. And what we're gonna do is come forward and around and in. Forward, around and in. So this time we're starting with the hardest one. So I actually think this is easier. You can use your arms just to help you balance around and in. So I want you to sink low and really keep your back flat and circle around and in wide circle so you can really feel the stretch of that loop in every direction forward around and in squeeze your glutes squeeze your quads 
should feel out of thigh two, a few more like this, and then we're going to come into a down dog position and do the same thing, around and in, around and in. We're not doing a pyramid on this one, so there are a few more reps in each position. You can sweep your arms, just breathe. I just want you to breathe. Put your weight in the heels as your legs come back together. Weight is in the heels. Around and in. Squeeze everything. Around and in. Six. Five. Four. Three. Sink low as you warm up. Two. And one. Nice job. Come into a down dog position. And we're coming forward, around and back. Forward, around and back. Forward, around and back. So you can decide whether you want to have your butt up more or less here. I've kind of got mine in a semi down dog plank position. So I'm loading quite a lot of weight into my arms. That's my choice, but if you want to, you can come further up like this and have a lesser gap in between your feet and your hands. Really stick your butt up and that way you can push your foot into that glider even more. So choose your level. Forward, out and back. Forward, out and back. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come in. Fix your loop if it's curling up, lose the glider, same thing. Sit low, butt towards the back. Now it's more of a balance. It's forward, around and in. Forward, around and in. Forward, around and in. So, you need to stretch that band. If you need to hold on to something, do that. I find that if I keep myself in this position where I'm looking ahead of me and I'm sticking my butt out, that is helping me to balance, okay? My weight is still in the heels and I'm trying to keep the rest of my body still as I move the legs forward, around and in. But if the balance challenge is putting you off to the point where you're not feeling your legs, I would rather you hold on. Are you breathing? You do whatever you want with your hands that's going to help you balance. Around and in. Point the toe if you can. Get your leg high and get your leg wide. Are you feeling your glutes and outer thighs? Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one, come into a down dog and we're going to come forward, around and back. Knee in to the side 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 and back. Side and back. It feels a little bit awkward, but you're including your abs, you're including your outer thighs, you're including your glutes, so it's in, then straighten towards the side, in towards the side and back. Try to get your leg as straight as you can as you bring it around. In and around. Come on, really fight for this. In and around. Don't crane your neck to look at me, make sure you're looking down at your mat. In and around. All the way in, big circles. Come on, a few more. Go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. So if you're really struggling with that one, you could also just do a knee, keep your leg bent. In with the knee and around in with the knee and around, so make it your own. Take off your loop, same thing with just the gliders now, okay? Easier, but 
keep your form. So back into that nice squat position, forward, around and in. So because we do not have our loop anymore, it means you can really increase the range of motion, get lower, and really think about pushing your ball of the foot into the glider. Straight around and in. Straight around and in. Get lower. Breathe through it. Dynamic movement. Really push forward, around and in. Your weight is in the heels on the in, around and in. It really helps to look in front of you and find that focal point so you don't wobble as much. Try to think inner thigh. So maybe press the inside of your foot into the glider a little tiny bit more than the outside of your foot. That's gonna engage your inner thigh. Especially on the in, angle it in. Angle it in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, back into that down dog. And we're coming forward, around and back. Forward, around and back. So I'm kind of more in a plank with my butt up in the air a tiny bit. But if you prefer to have less core and upper body engagement, come up here and do this. Around and in. Or you can even put your hands on some yoga blocks or a step bench, whatever you need that you can do this without your back being curved. Always keep your back flat. In, around and back. In, around and back. Push into the glider. In, around and back. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one. Come in. Okay, put the loop back on. Same thing above the knees. Make sure it's nice and flat. And we're starting with the hardest, which is loop and glider. So this one's a fun one. We're going to just come side to side in a skater. I want you to reach into the middle and really extend your leg wide, wide. Reach as low as you can. Use your arm at the back, squeeze your tricep, extend that. Think long lean lines, wide, wide. Really sink down low. I'm still sinking almost to 90 degree angles here with my top thigh, 90 degrees to the ground. And push your foot in as you come in Drag in, squeeze the inner thigh. Heart rates back up, yes? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, back into a plank or down dog, semi down dog position with your butt up. And we're doing the same thing but we're gonna angle it slightly. So toes are going more at 45 degrees here, slightly towards the front, and we're doing a pendulum side to side. So once again, I'm more in a plank, but if you wanna come up here and even elevate your hands on some dumbbells or some yoga blocks or a chair, then do that side to side. These are tough. Keep perfect form, look down at the mat. Eight, seven, six, breathe, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come in. Ah, oh, that was tough. Lose the sliders, fix your loop. Back into position, same thing. Down and down, down and down. So, bounce it if you want to, otherwise step it, step it, 
If you want to bounce, keep your chest forward. It's like a skater, you're skating. Use your arms. They're 12% of your calorie burn. Down and down. Sink low in your butt, wide. As wide as you can, so you're engaging more outer thigh. Breathe it. Come on. Slightly easier. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Get the gliders out of the way. Come down. And we're doing the same sort of thing, but it's forward and side. So slightly to the front, but in a pendulum. I've got my butt up in the air, so it's like a down dog. Side to side. Bringing my foot forward slightly towards my hand. Just to give a different angle, engaging a little bit more front of thigh. If you don't want to bounce, step it like this. Step, step. If you want more of a plank, come down a little bit more like this. Engages more core, engages more upper body. But I like to keep the speed up. So keeping your butt up in the air in a down dog, as long as you have a flat back, helps you to jump just that little bit faster. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, take the band off. Get your gliders again. Are you ready? Exactly the same thing with just the gliders. Now, focus on inner thigh. Get down, get down, go wider wider. My toes are coming out at about 45 degree angles and I'm sinking low with a flat back. Tummies are in. Wide. Easy moves. These are easy to do but super effective. Breathing yet? Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Okay, ready? Down dog. Slightly to the front. It's like you're bringing your leg out in line almost with your hand. Come on, obliques here. Remember, if you want to be up here, you can be up here. This is only really using your legs. But if you want a real challenge, this is our last cardio interval. Wide legs. Six, five, tummy's in. Four, three, so hard. Two, one. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that one was killer. Get your loop, put it back on. We're sitting, well not really sitting, hovering. But it's in a different position. Catch your breath. Man, heels are going to be on the glider. I'm going to engage my arms by keeping my fingertips towards my hips and slightly leaning into my arms. My arms are slightly bent. Then I'm going to lift up my hips and I'm going to start off just alternating. Alternating. Tummies are in, hips are up, arms have a micro bend. That's how you're going to engage that tricep and extend your legs long. Push your heel into the glider and as you bring it in, think hamstring. Your legs need to be far enough apart so you're still feeling out of thigh engagement and also you need to have space between those gliders so they don't hit each other. A few more like this. Keep breathing. Squeeze, squeeze. Try not to lock your arms, it's gonna be tempting, but try to keep them soft. Eight, seven, six, if you need to sit, this is the option. Four, three, two, and one. Tiny break, 
relax your arms. If you don't want to stay up like this, you can sit or you can even come down here, okay? So there are options. Or you can turn your fingers out, some people prefer that. Come back up, stay in, hips are up, out and in. You're going diagonally out, out and in. So it's wide and narrow, wide out, narrow in. Wide out, narrow in. Dig your heels in, wide out, narrow in. This is your option, wide out, narrow in. Or here, wide out, narrow in. So much easier. I love demonstrating the easier options. Wide out, narrow in. Wide out, narrow in. Come on. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lose the gliders. Okay, same thing with our loop. Are you ready? Get back into position. Hips are up and we're coming out and out. If you want to jump it, jump it. Keep your legs apart. You need to feel that loop out and out, out and up. Little tiny bend in your triceps, maybe a bounce. Maybe a bounce, neck is long. Out and out, out and out. Get your legs out wider, wide, wide. Come on, a few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down, little rest for your arms, roll your shoulders, forward and back, back into place. Now, hike your hips, slightly different. One leg at a time, out and in, out and in. Now, I want you to turn your inner thigh to the ceiling. Turn your inner thigh to the ceiling on the out. Inner thigh engagement. Tummies are in, come on, out and in. So if you want to, out and in. No shame in that, just keep loading weight into your arms then, out and in. You need to make it wide, make it work for you. Out, out, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, and five, and four, and come on, shoulder death, and two, and one. Oh my goodness, take that off. Guess what, last time you're using that loop. Yes, get rid of it. Arms, last section, just the sliders. You can do it, I believe in you. Do not stop, I'm not stopping. We're gonna finish this together. Even if you modify, don't stop. Okay, ready? Heels on the slider, come up, engage your triceps, out and in. So, push your heel into the glider and really extend, almost to the point of locking out behind the knee, straighten the knee, and then push your heel in as you bring it in. I want you to think hamstring, hamstring. Can you go a bit faster? Can you bounce your triceps? Come on, can you hike your hips up? Eight, seven, long count, six, five, four, three, two, and one tiny break. Okay. You and me. Okay, this is it. Last exercise. You can do this. I believe in you. Yes, I'm stalling. Hands back in place. Hips are up. It's out to the side. Out to the side. I'm doing single legs, but I really want you to go wide here. Out to the side. Out, 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 out. Don't use, lose your glider like me. Out, and out, 
and out, and out. We're gonna do a few double legs in six, five, four, three, two, one, out and in, out and in. Just a few. These are the hardest ones and we're going to finish really strong. Out and in, out wide, pull it in, out wide, pull it in. As wide as you can, think inner thighs on the in. In, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, ow. High five, you did it. Stretch your hamstrings because they would have been screaming just then. Mine definitely were. Point, lean forward through towards your thighs, flex. Heart rate was high, down. That feels really good. Now bring the soles of your feet together and just lean slightly forward. Just push down on your knee lightly, just opening up through the hips. So your loop and the sliders, then just the loop, then just the sliders, feeling your muscles in so many different ways. Come down in front, uh, point and flex. It's amazing how just such simple equipment can help you get into all of those supporting muscle fibers that you would not be able to get to if you were just doing normal weights or even normal body weight exercises. If you've been using the same workout over and over for many months or even years, then just adding pieces of equipment will give you a new experience and will give you new results. Okay, your body needs to have change. Without change, there's no change. So if you're not either changing the intensity or the duration or the type of workout, then you're not going to keep getting results. You will stagnate. Switch sides. So simply by adding gliders or loops or resistance bands or even a fit ball, there's so many cool pieces of equipment that are readily available in all of your department stores in the sports section and they will totally transform your workouts. Everything will seem new again. That feels good. I want to really stretch out the shoulders. We did a lot of plank and down dog work and the shoulders definitely would have felt that. So push your shoulder down, tilt your head away. That feels really nice. And then put your arm behind your back and grab your elbow and lightly pull forward, just ever so lightly. You should feel it in here. Just stretching a little bit. And then put that hand behind your head, push your arm down your back and lean away. The upper back also would have been worked quite a bit with those down dogs, other arm, and all those planks. So even though we didn't use dumbbells, or I did, didn't use dumbbells, and we didn't do things like push-ups, for example, you definitely should still have felt your upper body engaging throughout the entire workout. Pull that forward gently. Never pull too much. You just want to feel a light stretch in there. Especially when you're doing stretches like this where you're going in opposition to where your arm usually would rotate. Now behind and lean over, reaching down your back. And let's do some cat cows to release the back. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth and just push your spine up to the ceiling. And then come down and look up. That one feels really good. One more time, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Draw your belly button in and spine towards the ceiling. 
And then just to finish off the glutes a bit, come into a pigeon stretch, lining up your belly button with your knee, and then coming across that, really feeling the side here of your glutes and your hips, outer thighs. And then switching that, so lining up your belly button and coming over that. If you want more intense stretches, you can put your leg out further. That really engages that glute a lot more. You don't have to come down here, you can be up here. Just find a position where you feel the stretch is working for you. And then just interlace, push in front, interlace, pull up at the back. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for my slider and loop workout. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.